Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is about the difference between each and every. As I usually hear some students and English speakers use these two words interchangeably, which is correct, but not always. Why? Well, there where I come in. First, let's explain the difference in meaning between these two confusing words. We use each when we think of things separately, I mean one by one. For example, as a teacher, before the final examination, you may say something like, Hey students, study each chapter carefully, because the whole book is involved in my questions. Well, I'm not that kind of teacher, of course. So, each chapter, I mean one by one while every has the same meaning of the word all. We use every when, you, when we think of things as a group. For example, you come to your students and tell them that, hey boys, many of you didn't pass the exam, but don't worry, everyone will have five ex extra five marks a gift from me. So. Every student or everyone means all students. Now, can we use every and each interchangeably? Of course, yes, but not always. Study this example, please. In our school, there are a whiteboard and a smart screen in every class or in each class. Both have the same meaning. But you can use only each, not every, when you talk about two things or two people. For example, you surprise your daughter and son and tell them that, okay, there is no need to fight anymore because each one will have his own mobile. Each one, not everyone, because there are only two people here. However, every is used, not each, when you want to say how often something happens. For example, if someone asks you, how often do you work out? You answer, every day. You can't say each day, it is incorrect. Now let's compare between the two structures of every and each. Each can be used with or without a noun. For example, till now, I've read seven grammar books and each one has different topics. Each one. One is a noun or each book. Now each in this example is a determiner. I can also say each has different topics. But in this example each without a noun is a pronoun. On the other hand, every is always followed by a noun. For example, your friend may, may ask you, Really? Did you read all these seven books? You answer, Yes, every one or every book. You can't say every and stop. <clears throat> Moreover, you can simply say each of the, each of those, each of them, etc. Okay, without a noun. For example, each of these books has different topics. However, you can't use every followed directly by of. You must say every one of these, every one of them. So, for example, the previous example, every one of these books has different topics. Well, that's all I have about the differences between each and every. But actually, this topic rings a bell with me that when I was in college, there was always a heated debate about the use of each other and one another. Some speakers use each other only of two individuals and one another only of more than two. But in fact, in common usage, no distinction is made. Okay, before I conclude, there's one more thing, confusing of course, I want to mention. In line with each one and everyone, some people just use everyone as one word 
and everyone as two words in a wrong way. Actually, as one word is used for people and everyone as two words is used for people and things. So please study these two examples. Everyone will enjoy the wedding. Everyone, I mean here, all people in the party. The second example is, I have many meetings this week and I have to attend every one. I mean every meeting, okay? So here, I can't use everyone as one word because I'm talking about things, meetings. So that's all I have about each, every and the differences between them, one another, each other, everyone and every one. I hope this video has clarified these confusing topics. Thanks for watching and see you.